Meteorologist Jason Nappy tracking the severe threat from this system coming in from Quebec into northern New England today, okay? So you've got the main storm here, but there's going to be a storm inside the storm. So it's an MCV, a mesoscale convective vortex, right? So it's like this little mini storm that's going to come through and pop off a few showers and thunderstorms. A few of those could be severe, some brief tornadoes and some wind Get into all of that in the forecast here in the next few minutes here. Thank you for tuning in. Right now, across northern New England, it is pretty much dry. There are some showers over Burlington, but back in Canada, you have the action here. We have to wait until this system pushes east here. Now, this is not a threat for southern New Hampshire down to New Jersey so much. That's where the heat advisories are. It's going to be a threat from about, let me draw a line, from about here right through the Katahdin region outside of down east portion of the mid coast southern coast of Maine and then pushing west that's where the threat's going to be all in here right so not so much here over towards down east Maine the the storm is going to pull north and also there's some stable air over down east right now so here it is hour by hour hour on your Thursday so shows the pop-up cells are going to be happening here the western mountains rangely back towards the Boundary Plateau, over towards Greenville, uh, and moving up the Katahdin region, the county, the Northwoods, the Allagash. That's in the afternoon today. So we've got a few more hours, but they'll be firing up. And a few of them could be supercells. Those are severe thunderstorms. A few of them have damaging wind, some small hail, but also a brief tornado in the forecast. So here it is right now, the latest outlook from the National Weather Service it's a level one and two out of five. Ignore this part right here. This is general thunderstorm activity here. This is much, much less of a chance. Really is this dark green shade here. So basically just north of Washington County, northwest of Bangor, down towards uh, Casco Bay, the southern coast, but really more the southwest interior. The southern coast generally misses out on this type of stuff here with the marine layer, okay? Penobscot Bay, you miss out. But anywhere in here, in the dark green, and especially here in the yellow, Caribou, Jackman, the North Woods, Katahdin region, Western Mounds, a portion of the Oxford Hills, the Carabasset Valley, okay? That's where the threat is higher. It doesn't mean something can't happen outside of the area I'm showing you, but it does mean is that the threat is greater there. So here it is, the tornado outlook. So I want to show you this right now. So once again, outside of Caribou, around Presque Isle, all the way down northwest of Augusta, okay, in this darker green shade over towards the Whites of New Hampshire, back towards Montpelier, uh, Burlington, okay, in Vermont, okay. That's where the tornado threat is a 2 to 4% threat there of a you know, basically a tornado that's going to be very brief. This will not be significant, but it's very brief. There's a little spin in the atmosphere, okay? So that's the threat there. Now, wind is a greater threat, okay? So we'll break down the wind threat. In this shade here, it's 5 to 14 in the tan, okay? But then it's 15 to 29%. So you start to go higher the farther north and west you go where that wind threat is going to be. Okay, the hail threat is going to be relatively small hail, not going to be a large hail threat. So let me show you the data on this. Okay, so here's your main storm I told you about. This is the main storm. You're going to have this little MCV push past through, a little mini storm that's going to push through in the atmosphere. You get these kind of cells to pop up. Now, watch as they pop up here into the afternoon, anytime after 11 a.m. and really noon, you'll start to see some pop up especially in Maine, especially in northern Vermont, New Hampshire, okay? So what I'll do here is show you a sounding. I'm going to take a look at like a doctor and a slice of the atmosphere. So what you have here, notice here, you've got the wind coming out of the south and west, and then it's turning just a bit. There's a little bit of spin going on at the higher you go. So this is called wind shear, okay? The change in direction with height and change with speed, okay? It could be either or, it could be both. For here, we're going to have it go basically from around south over to west and southwest. So there's not a lot of spin, but there is enough here to get a brief tornado. But generally what you have mostly is a wind out of the west the farther you go up in the sky. So you're going to have more of a, 
if a wind threat from this, then you are going to be a tornado threat. The tornado threat is not zero, but there is more of a wind threat from this storm passing through. Okay, so be prepared for that in the forecast. Let me go ahead now uh, and bring up the latest forecast that I have for, for you on uh, jasonnappyweather.com. This is for my loyal followers in Maine, and I want to break it down for you now. Uh, in the next 10 days of the forecast here, get you into your weekend. I'll show you the sky cams, Portland, Lewis, and Auburn, Eastport, Bangor, Aroostook County. So you got clouds around. There will still be some haze today from the uh, wildfire smoke from Western, uh, from uh, Central Canada coming down in, and that'll be pushing through. But really, the severe thunderstorm threat is up today, level one to two, depending on where you are. Coastline misses out on it for the most part. Wind, a brief tornado, hail and much less humidity. So the humidity is going to be dropping like a rock tomorrow, uh, really dropping quite a bit. So for the mountains today, it's a scattered thunderstorm. Um, there'll be a few. It's not going to be numerous. Not everyone's going to see it, but the mountains, the best shot, you are closest to that MCV, to that, you know, that center of the storm, um, the bigger storm and the smaller one that's going to come through the atmosphere this afternoon, right? So it'll spark that. But look, we go to 70 for a high Friday and it'll be a little breezy and humidity drops all the way into the weekend in the mountains. There will be showers coming through Sunday. Saturday is the drier day if you want to go hiking. And next week, humidity is back on Thursday. Now inland, it's 81 today. It'll feel warmer with the humidity. Thunderstorms have passed through. And then 79 on Friday and sunny into Saturday. But then Sunday, here come the showers. And right now I'm tracking that to be a mostly Sunday morning, midday thing. Could, you know, you know kind of squeak out a few hours in the afternoon. We'll see how that storm plays out on Sunday. And then we clear out for Monday, Tuesday of next week with more humidity building by late week. For the coastline, I do have a scattered thunderstorm in. Not so much down east, but and not so much the mid coast, more like Casco Bay down to the southern coast. But these will likely be non severe by the time they get there. However, I'll watch it very closely. And then we clear out for Friday and Saturday. It's going to be humid again Sunday at the coastline with showers. Some of them could be heavy. We'll see about that. Got some time to fine tune it. And then we clear out next week before the heat and humidity is back in the forecast. So the latest updates on nappycast.com and jasonnappyweather.com.